these tendencies of you beating us and after you come up with your small small cheap cheap apologies should stop it should stop immediately because we are not your enemies well the leader of opposition in south africa that is john steinhausen of the democratic alliance wants president ramaphosa of south africa to cut ties with the president museveni of uganda john steinhausen said it's high time Africans get rid of dictators oppressing them. He urged that President Ramaphosa speak out on oppressive governments and dictators who threaten the foundation of freedom and democracy on the African continent. He highlighted that Bobby Wine's abduction on arrival at Entebbe Airport on Thursday was a shame to Ugandan government and Africa at large. Away from that, while well, Horrible Johnson Zinguratire, the member of parliament for Ruhama West Coast Uwesi in Tunkamo district has died. The cause of his death is still under investigation, but the family and the doctors are still trying to find out what caused his death. He was a member of the NRM party, a strong supporter of President Museveni and a very respected leader in his constituency. He died yesterday morning. May his soul rest in peace. Away from that, the chairperson of the Uganda Human Rights Commission, Mariam Wangadia, has asked journalists who were assaulted on Thursday while covering the arrival of Bobby Wine at Entebbe Airport to file complaints of human rights violations with the commission and the commission will carry out investigations. It should be remembered that on Thursday, more than 14 journalists were arrested and their gadgets vandalized. These are some of the exhibits we can show the world. You know, we're beaten up using sticks and, uh, you know, the backside of the gun. And uh, from this first jacket, you see it got torn in the course of that fracas. These tendencies of you beating us and after you come up with your small, small, cheap, cheap apologies should stop. It should stop immediately because we are not your enemies. Let us work together for the betterment of our country. We are the fourth estate. If I told Mr. Onyango says that we are not, uh, we are treated in a v like VIP, whatever. What are these? These are all bruises. I have wounds in, in, in uh, like at my back. You see this? These are all wounds. I was pulled out. Uh, they put me out of the car like a thief. I was beaten. Maybe the people that beat us. And the people that gave him that information that w w were treated to VIP uh, treatment, but the people that came, even the pictures you're seeing, you can see what kind of VIPs that were given and how journalists were beaten. You can see really, I don't know what, what the gentleman called Onyango best on to say that. But it uh, surprises us that uh, the same has, rep has repeated itself again, like it did happen during the work to work days when they would lump up journalists, beat them and uh, confiscate all their gadgets. It's the same narrative, uh, they're reading from the same script, so we really see an overzealousness from on the part of um, the police, the security, and uh, a breach of, uh, of uh, obligation or mandate.